Hi everybody, this is Reese Marble from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. Uh, two patients in this compilation. So the first patient you can see here has come through uh, feeling very, very blocked up. We've got uh, a mixture of sort of dry skin, uh, all dry wax in here as well. So uh, it's really kind of firmly held onto the canal walls. We've got the standard size on the tube in here. You can see we're fighting uh, with this little bit of the entrance here. I'm trying to peel this off the canal wall so we can get uh, get those much, much sort of deeper bits. Hopefully try and hold on to it and get a much larger piece coming away here. But you can see with this particular type of wax and dry skin issue, um, you tend to find they go hand in hand. So obviously if you've got some dry skin, then the chances are the wax trying to pass over the top of that is going to dry out a little bit. It's formed this... Uh, this kind of ring around the outside edge of the wax here. So you can, uh, so the outside edge of the, wax, the outside edge of the ear canal even, uh, you've got this ring of sort of dry skin and, and dried out wax there. So I'm trying to use the uh, standard size on the tube to bunch all this in together, a bit like what we did with the, the uh, hairs in the wax that we took off the eardrum on Monday. So we're trying to kind of bunch it all into the end of the suction, which is gonna give us a really good grip and then try and draw it out from there. But you can see it's, difficult because it's all stuck so firmly to the canal walls and when you've got these kind of long strips of skin in there uh, trying to get those away they're going to really hold on to the canal walls quite tightly so we've got the uh, crocodile forceps in here at the moment and uh, it's unfortunately my crocodile forceps at the moment got the kind of quite wide end. We were struggling to get the thinner end on there, but you can see that as we get a good grip on this, that whole section just kind of unpeels from around the outside edge, uh, drawing all that with it. And if we can get a good grip on this top section, we're just going to draw it forwards just so we can get a better clamp on the second attempt. And it really doesn't want to come away easily. You can see there, as the forceps clamp onto it, it's just kind of pulling a little bit off the side. There we go. We've got that little piece away there. When you take a look inside, you can actually see where the dry skin has come away from the canal wall there. Uh, eardrum looking nice and healthy on the other one. Sorry, I forgot to slow that down for you guys. Um, but you can see here in the second ear, we've got this really dry wax debris here as well. It's very dark in color and regular viewers will know that means it's a little bit older and it does tend to dry out a bit as it, uh, as it gets older as well. So we're just gonna start drawing this down from the top as we pull down, you can just see uh, the separation between the wax there and that little bit of dry skin just above it, which is holding this in. So imagine the wax is dried around that piece of skin. It's gonna hold in there really tightly. Um, so there we go. We're just pulling this down from the top. That's not really budging. Uh, so we're gonna put the crocodile forceps in here. And just, you can see as we draw this away, always difficult with skin because crocodile forceps will give you a fantastic grip uh the difficulty is if the skin is quite you know quite solid there's a lot of structure to it it'll help you to pull it out but if it's a little bit thinner then as you get a grip it tends to tear through that little bit of uh, dead skin um, a lot of patients be asking to you know, what you know, what does this feel like uh, in the majority of cases This is just gonna feel like a pulling sensation. It's not gonna be any painful at all for the patient You're just gonna feel a lot of pulling um, uh, Oh, there we go jobs and horn comes in to save the day so you can see jobs and horns coming over the top Q Mighty Mouse theme tune. And it just goes in there and just starts to draw this down the canal. What I'm using here is the structure of the wax at the base of the canal against itself. So it's quite hardened up. If we can get to that little gap, you can see how hard it is because the, the jobs and all is actually flicking off the top. But if we can just get through that hole, separate some of this off the right side and use the structure to draw this around the corner. There we go. As this comes away, that really hard section we had at the bottom we were fighting with there, we got behind that and drew the whole plug out in one go. The lighter material underneath there is the dry skin you could see and you could see there was a little tail of dry skin further on. You can see where it's separated actually from the, the side of the canal wall there. So this is what we removed. You can see these uh, big chunky old plugs there. So we've got two centimeters. That's three quarters of an inch there as well guys. Ah, better at inches again. There we are. So you can see that's come away really really nicely and you can get a good look at that uh, dry skin on there as well. So this is the second patient in the compilation. Lovely gent, came through, um, feeling very blocked up. This has been going on for quite a few months. Uh, unfortunately, this was a really 
stubborn piece of wax. This did not want to come out without a fight. You can see the patient's got this really sort of hairy, uh, lots of very dense cilia around the outside edge of the ear canal there. Very dark wax. It's this really awkward consistency as well, which is this kind of clay, thick, sticky. Imagine Play-Doh, but much stickier. That kind of consistency in there. Uh, so we're just going to draw this out. Unfortunately, the patient had a really awkward shaped ear canal as well, because what we've got here is a slightly narrow section there, uh, and we're just trying to pull this whole piece through this narrow section, but uh, obviously it just was so at home in there and had been in there such a long time, it perfectly formed to the shape of the canal here. We're getting a good grip. You can see we're trying to wiggle this top section through, just very, very gently trying to work this out of the ear through that little narrowing. There we go. And if we just lift up from the bottom here, we're just gonna try and detach some of this looser uh, material from the bottom and hopefully bring the more sticky side of the wax underneath. But it's pretty firmly uh, wedged in there. So now we have to change tack a little bit, work on a different position and try and roll this forwards, which is what we've done there. You can see a very dark, uh, quite dry material at that particular section. When we take that away, there's still more behind it. Uh, but now we've taken that that uh, top section away I was just trying again to lift the bottom because that's going to be anchoring this into place it's very stuck to the canal wall so I'm probing uh, this wax here looking for any weakness there at all anywhere we can get a little bit of purchase on there and you can see a little bit breaking away from the right side back to the bottom again see if we can lift up still not budging We're starting to see a little bit of the top of the eardrum there, um, but it's just, because the, the, the ear canal is almost kind of this V shape here, um, what's happened is where the wax is leveled off here, it's stuck all the way down there and across the bottom as well. So we're really trying to pull that section away. And if we can see if we can free this top one up and try to roll it, but it's just so firmly held in there. Now this is where patience is the key uh, because what you have to do here is it's tiny, minuscule movements, very, very slight wiggling there. I mean, I mean, tiny, tiny wiggles uh, just to try and get this out. And what we're also trying to do is not only wiggle back and forth, but we're also trying to draw down the canal at the same time. So we're trying to maintain the suction grip, hold onto it tight enough to move it back and forth, and then also draw it down. So you're always listening for the sound of the suction, because as soon as that suction grip, um, grip breaks, you've got to go back on then and get that good grip to bring it down the canal again. There we are. We're starting to see a little bit of movement. It's starting to come through the gap a little bit. Now, obviously, depending on how wide the ear canal is on the other side of that kind of V-shaped valley you've got there, um, if it's much wider on the other side, it's going to be much more difficult to pull this through. So we'll have to kind of turn the wax, break a bit off, turn it again, break a bit off just to try and get it through, which is exactly what we're having to do here. Really, really struggling to get this top section through. You can see a lot of hair embedded in there. So you imagine you've got this kind of really thin, thick clay type wax, all hairs embedded through the middle of it, binding it all together. Uh, so you can imagine how tough that is. And it's formed into the shape of the canal, which in this case, imagine a letter T, you've got this kind of narrow section and it widens out at the top. You're trying to get that wider section at the moment through that narrow gap. There you go, there we are, out it pops. So if we take a look behind that, but the eardrum itself, look how clear that eardrum looks. It's absolutely fantastic. There is a bit of a lack of light reflex there. So the patient probably has a little bit of dullness to the eardrum, may well be a little bit of reduction in middle ear pressure. Um, so what you've got here, we've got a little uh, centimeter and a half. I'm gonna go with just over half an inch there, uh, only because I can't remember what, is it five eighths? Yes. I'm going to go five eights. That's far more accurate. So there we are. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those two videos uh, as much as I did voicing them over for you guys. Um, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and uh, we shall see you again on the weekend. Have a good weekend, guys. Do some relaxing. Enjoy yourselves. And I shall see you on Monday. <laughs>